All right, so we're gonna go into the TIS. That means I need to open the thing. I'm gonna explain most of the stuff during the run because there is a lot of dead time in the run because a lot of it is it's cutscenes. It's not that much. Don't, don't worry, it's not gonna be terrible. I promise. Uh, but let's just get started. Uh, let's see if I remember how to do this. Uh, let's see. Give me one second here. TIS. And by the way, I'm gonna use splits here. These splits are from my sum of best. Can explain that later better. Don't worry. And so we're gonna go for it. Oh, wait a minute. I need to. One more time. Hopefully OBS behaves. And we can get okay, there it is. Deep into that darkness, Perry. Is it okay? So I'm not playing this at the AIS. It's just the emulator doing their stuff. Uh, I need to pay attention for the timer. There you go. <laughs> Alright. So uh, this is a TIS I did for any percent cutscene storage, which is the shortest, uh, let's call it, official category of this game. Uh, there is a theoretical shorter category, but it, it involves not starting from the normal starting point of a run, so this is the proper official fastest category. And well, the the objective of, the, of this run, this TIS, um, you're gonna already see it on the description, but it's basically a human restricted TIS, as a friend of mine just decided to call it, uh, or an R R T H R T for short. <laughs> um, it's basically a run that it it's it's just me playing the game with save states basically. And a little bit of, like, like I'm using a lot of safety, basically. So, uh, what, what I'm trying to accomplish here is show the best possible time for a human on this category. So, everything I do here on this run is RTA viable. Everything, except for, like, one second. I'm gonna explain when I when I reach that part, but don't worry, it's nothing important really. Don't worry. Think <laughs> Despite that, that one second, everything is RTA viable, and if you grind like hell, you can technically pull this out. Um, if, like you gotta grind a lot because it's it's not just execution; it's also a little bit of RNG. Uh, but there's some adjustments you can do to to compensate that RNG for a slightly slower time. But yeah, this is basically has all the tricks that I not use normally on runs. So we're gonna see a perfect bias here, just a lot of fast pickups. Um, again, none of this is RTS. And just play every part until I get a good time so it's like so it has the human element you know <laughs> let's call it that a couple of days ago I started doing fast pickups using target I had the feeling that um, other people in the community already knew that but I just didn't pay attention <laughs> And for some reason, I I never do it in the past, and I started doing it now, and it's it's just so crazy. Like just targeting to stop for the fast pickup helps so much. It's way faster and way more consistent. You don't do it everywhere. You do it only when you don't want to change directions, or when there is an enemy on the the side direction you want to take.
But the thing is, when you lock on, uh, you instantly stop. So you can press B immediately to pick up the thing. But you also preserve your speed, so if you're trying to turn around on a pickup, it's not very useful, I think. So yeah, a little trick you can do there. You can do an attack right when you press the button. And Pice is gonna target a zombie and it's gonna turn around during the cutscene. And then you can hit the portal right there. So skip one animation. So that was actually slower, why is that? <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> I'm a little bit confused now. <laughs> it should be faster than all the others. Uh, maybe that sumo is I Oh no, wait. What was the I know what, what's happening here. So, this is on, on emulator, and emulator is known to be slower. So this is my sumo vest from console. Okay? So there might be some parts, like right there on Pius, that might be slower regardless. Just because of emulator shenanigans, okay? Don't let that ruin the, the experience you for you. Not free to leave this place we might see until you complete a task for me. some splits that are not gold are because of that. And kill the master of this house. Do this one thing, and you will be free. Else, but I actually didn't expect that much. I hadn't timed this, by the way. So this is also going to be a surprise for me the final time. It better. It better go to our, otherwise I'm gonna cry. <laughs> so here, right here, um, we get into Elia, and then we do a cutscene storage. So we skip Elia. And I think it's right there, yeah. So again, lose him some time because of emulator. That's because of my vest split, I got a first try Elia. I really didn't thought it was the all, all that match that emulator loses. Which is good actually. Because that means it's totally okay to use emulators on the leaderboards. From my research. Now we're gonna go to Anthony. We're gonna have some uh, more cutscenes later, so I can explain the cutscene storage again later actually I could explain a little bit here what we basically use uh, that broken glitch that's what gives the name to the category because it's so broken that we actually split oh categories because of it this devil's work it's just too broken and it's also like it's kind of a degenerate glitch in a sense it's not that it's just broken because if there were, let's say, a glitch that makes you go, I don't know, run faster, but it's not that easy to pull off, but also not that hard to pull off, you'll be totally okay, I guess. But cutscene storage is kind of degenerate in the sense of it makes the run something completely different. And it kind of sucks, <laughs> in a sense, if you want to play with it. So we decided to, to split Kateri's for the health of it. So the objective of Anthony here, remember, we can skip chapters. So the only objective here is to get enough stuff. Um, like all the things we are gonna need for the rest of the game we need to get. We don't need to finish chapters because every time you read a page, all the flags on the next Alex segment are going to be uh, set right after you read the page. Uh, it's not after you beat the chapter. So if you have a way to skip the chapter, you can just do it and the next Alex segment is gonna be all right.
So here I break this urn here. Because we need to get Chaturga, Antorbok, Magormore, and three. Uh, how's it called? Three Power Circle. And also Mix. The only reason why I'm grabbing this stuff is to get Mix. And there, here we're gonna burn this guy. And with that. Create a spell, assign it, not doing it, and we're out of here. Because that's all we need. You are and an interesting to consequence of this, way, of leaving Anthony at this point, you are um, there is a, um, a tutorial, a magic tutorial in Anthony, that triggers when you do a spell. And I don't think it triggers with any spell, I think it triggers only with uh, enchant item. If you don't do enchant item, you skip that tutorial. And if you skip that tutorial, your magic never appears. So your magic is invisible. So you won't see my magic meter for the entire run. But it is there, believe me. So that's what I call a gold. <laughs> that's... I can probably say more time than that in a console because again, uh, emulator is losing time constantly just out of loading zones. But that gives me an idea of how much time I can save by skipping Anthony. That's compared to a normal Anthony. A normal, pretty much, not, not perfect, but really good Anthony, like with the best horror skip, earn skip, like quick earn speak, skip, quick trapper, etc. And you see the menu is now like broken on this TIS because again I did it everything by hand. That that's like the purpose of it to be human. Dreams. Modern psychology of But yeah, you can be extremely broken on menus, on TIS. The um, there's a lot of stuff on the menu that you can do on either one or two frames. Like scroll pages, for, for instance, is like two frames. You know, to like press the button, want to press the button and want to leave the button. And then you can press it again, so you can scroll extremely fast on the menu and stuff like that. That's something not humans will save a lot of time <laughs> just normal Kareem stuff here also there is like one or two uh, mistakes in the run just because I <laughs> when I was doing the thing I lose some save states and I didn't want to go back so much so I just leave them. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> uh, it's nothing crazy. There's like one extra pause in a part and the movement is not perfect of course. Now this, this is good. So you can do an enchant on that button and that uh, allows you to move in this cutscene. That's just some swag there. I don't actually need to do that movement. You just need to wait until the cutscene ends, so you can get on the elevator. And that saves a tiny bit of time, uh, because you are closer to the elevator, and saves more time later, because you have an enchanted tower. Though, it saves a lot of... well, not a lot, but more in-game time. Or, or let's say, more than in-game time, it saves time from the... Um, the timer of the sanity effect. So we're gonna see a very late sanity effect on this segment, actually. So there, the horror has very few HP, just enough to kill it with a chakra. Then a 
spelling cuts in here. This one is frame perfect. You can do it, but it's frame perfect. And there is the sanity effect. It's extremely late compared to a normal RTA. And I couldn't get the, the, the skip of Edward. I just don't know how it works. That's a mystery still. Another recovery here is not really necessary, but I just did it because you can do it there. You got like six frames to do that recovery. So here I scroll down a little bit because we need to get from my research um, it is apparent that the endeavor to dark servants at some point. So I just scroll a little bit on every pause. Same here. I and after this pause, uh, there comes the little time the save of having enchanted tower. Because you don't have to change to a Ramdao. Ramdao has lower hits, has lower attacks. You can just use it to work. Finishing that spell is actually unnecessary. I just figured it out later. <laughs> I just don't need it. But I need that no magic message to move on this cutscene and attack that guy as fast as possible. Then we're gonna change the enchantment and we're done with Kareem. So what we got in Kareem? We got Ulyas, uh, because we need it. We actually need Ulyas just to unlock Max, nothing else. If it wasn't for that, we could almost skip it, because we also need it for Enga, but whatever. Uh, we got Narcat for reveal and other stuff. And we got Santag, which is for recovery and shield. And that's all I need. That's all we need. And that's kind of crazy. <laughs> I didn't expect that much, actually. Oh, that's a lot. Like from a, from a gold Kareem, that's... That's a whole lot. So yeah, that's that's one big time loss you I can still implement on any percent CS. Because I haven't skipped Kareem. The only bad part of Kareem, and we might lose time in some other parts of the uh, of the run is that now to do cutscene storage, uh, I mean chapter skip, I need to use Pius. I cannot use Kareem. If I use Kareem, the game crashes. Because chapter skip works with Kareem only after you beat Kareem. So basically in my run, in my PV, I can use that from I will from Max and on. I was shocked by the sudden mention. But here we're gonna use Pius for all the chapters that can be escaped. So now we're gonna go to Max. And Max has a lot of stuff actually. Um, there is one trick that makes you lose a lot of time on RTA, which is the horror, and it's Kind of random, or completely random, rather. Um, there might be a way to control it, but I haven't figured it out. And here it took me like, like seven tries, I think, to redo this whole part, uh, so I could get the correct RNG for the the horror. So we need the horror to go to attack the servant, that always happens, but we need the horde to go a little bit farther away. So we're gonna have this angle here that allows us to hit the horror from behind. And so that way 
horrors take double damage from behind and then you can kill it on three shots two shots <coughs> sorry and you want that angle in particular or more than an that angle because you want to be close to the door so you can press the door right as you kill the horror and that cancels the death animation which is about seven to eight seconds but it doesn't depend on you it depends on the horror so here i did three recoveries there's a little bit of a walk there that was kind of a mistake just ignore it whatever <laughs> and that's to have a no magic message there after the enchantment and that allows you to move during the cutscene just a little bit it's like a tiny tiny time save actually what what saves the most time is doing the enchantment in the cutscene that's what saves a lot of time here i got recovery and reveal invisible all the assignments are optimized for the run, by the way. So they're really invisible. You can um, reload your weapon. Like, you can reload your weapon and then start a spell. And the reload is going to finish during the spell. That la last bullet is not mandatory at all, actually. I just did it for swag. Not on this road. Normally it is mandatory, but not here. Another dead animation cancel there. We got Bankrock from a zombie. And then we cancel that animation by going to the well again. You are not and now we're gonna skip to Max. This so and this part was kinda tricky. I measure what a lot of different guardian fights of this house. and this one thing at the end I came up free. that this and method was faster although not a lot like from the fastest fastest one if you get every single trick like the enchantment the barrier and all that I think it was like 10 to 15 seconds it's still a lot but I, I thought it, it was going to be more uh, that was compared to like the best guardian I could got. And there you go. So um, that's like 30 seconds on the splits. So that should be about 8 seconds from the horror. Uh, probably another up to 15 with all the other tricks. And then the other 15 from the Guardian fight, probably. Oh, something interesting. When you skip Kareem, I don't know how consistent is this, but I think the sequel flag, there's a sequel flag, which is similar to the explosion flag. So explosion is not activated until you get it activated, and it might randomly activate after a sanity effect and um, Sigwell does something similar it gets activated after Kareem uh, that doesn't mean you're gonna see it there necessarily the ancient though it, I think it's, that one is fixed so from there Sigwell can or cannot happen depending on the situation and the thing is if you skip Kareem I think the flag never activates it didn't activate on this run at least I don't know how consistent is that, but... So... Sequel is actually not activated. I, I'm not doing any trick to skip Sequel. It just doesn't happen. Uh, the Sequel Sanity effect, by the way. The, to be continued. So now Lindsay. Lindsay is an in interesting one. It's gonna look very different from my run. Because... Lindsay might be one of the hardest episodes to optimize everything and to implement everything because there's too many things that have to align for you. So, you see, I'm going this way. 
because we're doing bronze skip. So you go here, you need a zombie. We don't need the gatekeeper anymore, so we just kill it. I kill it for some sanity there. I did a little bit of movement to do a tur turn around the zombie there. Then we do a barrier, we get grab, and after we get released from the zombie, the zombie pushes you. Like, the zombie goes into the wall, but it can't go through the wall, so it pushes you into the other wall. And then you can just skip that entire sequence, that saves like 30 seconds. Some quick zombies there on Netflix, we're gonna do something similar here. Okay, grab, release, and that push you. And then you have to make your way into a loading zone. This is only useful uh, on some parts because this game actually doesn't have a lot of loading zones. Uh, there's very few actually. But Lindsay is one of the chapters that have a lot. You are not free to leave this plane. The other very important loading zone in the game is the one on the stethoscope room, and kill the which is another one house. we explode. Do this one thing, and you will be free. Oh, and by the way, I changed to Oya out here on the cutscene. That was just an accident. <laughs> I guess I press um, right at some point in the cutscenes. This is not an escape jet. We are not skipping the chapter here. We're doing something else. We're going for In the Hands of Kali, which is the Mantra cutscene on Lindsay. And what it does is it triggers the real cutscene. And the real cutscene teleports you here. And gives back your stamina. So we're full stamina here, by the way. That's just a property of the cutscene. So what I'm doing here is we're backtracking a little bit. Oh, and by the way, so here's one of the mistakes of the run. You're gonna see an extra pause right here. Okay? That pause shouldn't have happened. It's like just one second, um, but I was supposed to equip that torch uh, in the cutscene storage boss, but I just forgot it and I lose all my save states on that part. Like uh, the last save state I have was like in max and I didn't want to redo that whole part. <laughs> so I just went with the boss, it's not that big of a deal. Here we do pull. Creature and Dispel. Dispel red, Dispel green, and then a Trapper. So, you the objective of that backtrack to is to get tier. We need tier. We, we actually need every single rune. And kill the, the only rune you can house. technically skip is Pargon. And you will be but free. you can't really and do it because you need it for other stuff. Um, but the thing is, all the other runes you need it for Enga, regardless. Not to do spells, but to some of them, yes. But it's just to avoid crashes on the pylons. Otherwise, you just get a crash. Look at that. That's pretty good. So that's about 30 seconds from bronze creep. Then I think the teleport might save like two seconds, two seconds, two minutes or two and a half. And then the other one saves very few, might save like 10 seconds. That one is like not that RTA viable, like you really want to hit it first time, you otherwise you're losing time. Because you're very you close to the end me. of the chapter. You, you can just go back. The master of this house. You even have a pool to Do cast. This one thing and you will be free. Else fear the wrath of Zalaton. And here I, I changed to Zelda, also an accident. <laughs> it just happened. But that's not a, a time loss at all. So now we're gonna go to Max Dark Duty. So 
that triggers the real cutscene after the cutscene storage. So that's the real cutscene. And the real cutscene teleports you to the stethoscope room. So I actually this, did this on my B. Just not on first try, probably. And yeah, this is the way cutscene storage uh, skips Edward. It's a faster way than using a zombie. And Europe, the good thing about di doing this is that you actually don't need a zombie. I know I already did say it, but what that means is that you don't need five spells. Because you can also skip Roberto. And Roberto is the you only chapter that really needs five plane, spells. Until you complete a task for me. And Paul, of course. Hunt yeah. and kill the so we can skip those two. Do this one thing because of cutscene storage. Else fear the wrath of Zelotov. So here we're not skipping this one. There's one thing we need on Paul. Which is Pargon. I already say it. So we're gonna get Par Pargon. This is similar to what we did on on Lindsay. We're using this to teleport. You are a so we go here. And what that does is it's very weird. It triggers, it you puts. I don't know exactly what it does, but. <laughs> um, okay, so ma some manipulation there on the bone tips. That that is actually not hard to do RTA. So the thing is, after the cutscene storage, you're gonna have a Biprom storage <laughs> uh, of the custodian. So you can just press that B, and it's the same B. Be prompt, and then you get rid of the text, and that teleports you to the real cutscene because that's what normally happens on the game when you are near that B prompt. Then we go here, we're gonna do some damage on one of the arms, and then the friend is gonna heal the zombie, and that happens because. When you activate blue zombies, they actually die, technically, or the game thinks they die. So, if they, they all activate together and then you get the Pargon thing. Because otherwise, the zombie that has Pargon is actually very powerful. He's a big zombie, so he has more HP. Oh, that was... That was Paul. So that time save is probably because I just didn't got first try on my on my run. Kinda looks like a either second or third try, I guess. So now we're gonna go to Roberto. normal RTA piano. <laughs> Nothing crazy there. Roberto is the most boring chapter in both categories. <laughs> Much has been written about the exploits of conquerors. Because on the normal any percent or any percent no CS, you gotta do Roberto and it's kind of a boring chapter. Here, just keep it immediately. And there's nothing interesting about it. <laughs> you are not free to leave this plane until you complete a task for me. You are to hunt and kill the master of this house. Do this one thing So the thing about cutscene storage, uh, how you set it up, is... You gotta watch this cutscene. There's two other cutscenes that can have a similar effect. And also every single cutscene you can make some sort of cutscene storage, though they are they behave in a different way. Not all of them allow for chapter skip, for example. And 
what you need to do is like you, you need to find a, a cutscene that transitions from uh, an in-game cutscene you know with 3d models to a pre-rendered one and then on that transition there's one frame where you can cancel skip the cutscene and it stores some value in the memory some weird stuff that causes a lot of other weird stuff <laughs> the war to and basically the from wars, there the next mankind... cutscene you see it will have some of the properties of the real cutscene on the actual game so for instance all the cutscenes that teleport you from one room to, to another room will do the same thing for your character so that's why you can teleport now the thing is, most of them, um, there's a lot of them that teleports to other chapters, but the game doesn't like that. It doesn't like when you change characters without going through Alex and stuff. So the game just crashes. But we, so we, we make use of all the, the ones that doesn't crash the game, which are very useful, by the way. We, we actually got a, a lot of good cases for cutscene storage. Probably the most important is the uh, just chapter skip, which is very weird. Because there is something about getting the artifact at the end of Pius and at the end of Karim. Uh, after you beat Karim. I'm doing some spells here to do an old magic message here. That took me a while because um, magic is invisible. <laughs> And I can't. I couldn't see my magic because I couldn't save, and I just didn't want to get it by, by hacking. So I just tested different stuff until one one worked. Here, Trubber. And yeah, for some reason the game likes to skip chapters when you see a pious cutscene. There's something about grabbing the artifact. There, you can cancel the trapper. It's a 7 frame trick that I usually try to go on some runs. Okay, that menu was really fast, right? That's the only instance on the run where I did a little bit of unhuman menu. And it was kind of an accident, <laughs> just because I was looking for a good safe state for the seven spells, and I wasn't paying a lot of attention to some of my inputs, so I accidentally put a kind of unhuman part there. <laughs> but it, it's fine. It's like zero point nothing. It's you really are not free to leave. I guess it compensates for some of the time loss losing on you are to hunt and kill the master on loading zones. Do this one thing and you will be free. Else fear the wrath of Zelotov. So on Peter, I forgot to turn off the light. That's sad. Whatever. <laughs> The only thing we need on Peter is the seven circle. So that's what we got, and now we out. There you go. <laughs> Interesting effect there. There's a lot of cutscene storages that get that effect in the cutscene, and that's actually normal. I mean, it's not normal, but it happens on console too. Uh, which is this weird effect that is similar to when you have a like um, a, a very weird error on all windows and you have like a, a window in the middle of the screen and you grab it and you start to drag it around and it, it left a trail of windows something very similar to that Yo 7 out strong, how are you doing? You made it to stream, nice How's it going? I actually don't know how much is left, but 
There has to be at least 20 minutes, I guess. So here we already have the stethoscope because we skip the entire Edward part with a teleport. We can get all this stuff. And then go to Michael. And you notice I'm not using the penny. Wherever disaster and death. Uh, that's that's gonna be explained like... in the future. Don't worry. But the thing is, like normally you want to use the penny here on a normal run at least, because if you don't use the penny, if you reach pious fight with any extra items, your game is gonna crash on your inventory. You are not free to leave. We don't know exactly why does that happen. You are to but and kill the there's something about house. like we know the game does stuff on the inventory in the bias fight because free. the game gets and rid of some of your items of on that part uh, it kind of cleans your inventory so maybe the game because you're with unintended items cannot clean those items those unintended ones and then it gets crazy and it crashes so here we're gonna see back to civilization which is a different cutscene. We don't need to watch Pius here. This one is closer. And the, this one gives you a Vibron storage. So you saw a little bit of screen there. That's because I was matching B there. And that Vibron storage is from the last ladder of uh, that episode. So you can basically enter the ladder from anywhere. And you're gonna beat the level immediately. And there's nothing we need on Michael, so we just skip it immediately. You see, I'm not doing spells here. Uh, first of all, there's no sequel side of the effect. Again, because we skip Kareem. And I'm not doing recoveries too. So here is kind of the RNG part of the TIS. Um, I'm getting the best RNG with save states, so we only see good sanity effects. Which is technically possible for humans. It's totally possible. You only need to grind like, uh, like hundreds of runs, and eventually you will have only good effects. <laughs> that doesn't mean it's easy, but it's possible. And also, like, you only need to get, like, a couple. You don't need that many, because every time you get a good sanity effect, um, depending on what effect it is, you might have a full minute without other effects, if it, if it is a good one. And if it is a bad one that cannot activate, if it is a, a bad one that cannot activate, like helpless battle is one of those it kind of activate on every room there's some rooms where it doesn't work there's gonna be a lot of minutes it's like it is a thousand frames i don't know how many minutes is that it's like two and a half minutes i, I think it's more than two less than three And now we get to Enga, the final part of the run. We have to play Enga. There's no way around it yet. The only way to technically skip Enga is to play Edward. But Edward's slower. <laughs> like, you can actually play Edward, beat Edward, like, activate a flag from Edward. And then you don't beat Edward normally, but you skip it. And that makes the flag to be still set up. And it's the same flag that Alex uses for the teleport to the last boss. So then when you arrive on Alex, you can just teleport immediately. The name normally turns that flag off when you get to Alex, when you beat Edward normally. But that's not happening here. <laughs> Because it's slower, actually. 
it's just interesting. So, number eight. And you're gonna see me punching, trying to cut the teleports. That's because when you do an animation, at the same time you enter a teleport, uh, you're gonna skip another animation. Normally when you enter a teleport, uh, your character wants to walk to the middle of it, and that takes a bunch of time. But if you do an attack, uh, that animation is not played. So, so far it's looking like a normal run. We started with the same number. Just number 8, as usual. And here in Enga, you can actually have sanity effects. Only on that room, the electricity room, is the only room that can show you bad sanity effects. And then the good sanity effects I think the only one that triggers normally on any room is uh, TV shut shut down. I'm almost sure that's that might be the only one, and and I guess uh, bleeding walls. But but yeah, I haven't seen the others. But yeah, just having any bad effect on the main room, it's a big time loss. Especially because you don't know already, like, you don't know immediately if you had the effect. But you might go immediately into the electricity floor. Okay, one second here. So I did a no magic message there to avoid one electricity. That's something you can do. Um, the thing is, if, if you're in a sanity effect on the electricity, um, you're gonna lose your shields, and then after the sunny effect, your shields won't be back. That is RTA viable, believe me. Uh, the only important part right there is like react very well to the trapper, so you can like react to a bad trapper. Here, I grinded a lot for good patterns, but I just couldn't get one. I did it like 20 or 25 times, I don't remember. I couldn't get any good pattern. That one was pretty good though. <laughs> but that was, wasn't a pattern, it was a, just sick movement. Uh, so we're skipping using the revolver here to kill the trappers. But yeah, regardless of that, uh, just using R to lock while you run is pretty good. Uh, it's way better than sneaking to avoid trapper explosion and it's not that hard like I, I figured that out while I was tossing it's really not that hard to do so I might actually start doing it on actual runs because it's kind of cool to skip the revolver so here we can watch a cutscene and we're gonna use this pause to go for the last assignments. So there is not a single extra pause for assignments in this run. There's one extra pause for an equipment, but that's what's just a mistake. Uh, but all the assignments are optimally spaced on the pauses. And that pause there is to skip a barrier, just to deactivate the barrier, so... We have to do it anyways. And now we're gonna, we're gonna go to number four, which might be the most important part. So, some early activation on the trapper there. You can do that by getting very close to the trapper, you activate it immediately. But Alex actually doesn't run that fast. If you don't turn around immediately, or if you have a bad position, you won't be able to outrun the trapper attack. Here, I summon a trucker. Like, what, what the fuck are we doing here? We're finally gonna see this in a run. 
Yo Toast! How are you doing? It's been so much time. Right at the end, yeah. But you, you did it. So that's a frame perfect trick. You go with the trapper into the warm area. And there's one frame window where you can cancel the trapper. And normally what happens is that the worm goes and just deactivates the trapper. But if you do it on the right frame, uh, then it deactivates the trapper and it also triggers the cutscene of the worm teleport, uh, like the SEBI effect. So now we are on the SEBI effect, but we, we break out of the room. But we still have the SEBI effect. What this means is we can actually uh, trigger a teleport. Finally mess up my sleeve shovel. Nice. <laughs> Everything for eternal darkness. So what normally happens on the on the worm is that you need to recover all, uh, a big portion of your sanity. I think it's like 80% or 75%. And then after that the effect um, it's it's gone. But what the game does is it teleports you back to the beginning of the room. So you have to do the the worm part again. So uh, a very interesting <laughs> um, exploit of that is that if you get out of the room, you can trigger that everywhere. And that always teleports you back to a default entrance of the room. So we're gonna use that later. Not that late, actually we're gonna use it now. And that's the reason why I'm doing a pool, by the way. Because I need to recover my sanity uh, in a specific moment. I need to have more than about 80-75% sanity in a specific moment, which is gonna come now. So here, while we still recover some sanity, we're gonna make a spell. So this is a bind. Uh, this is the bind um, room where we normally have to use one or two binds. We're gonna do just a shield, have good sanity, and teleport to the entrance. And that's warm teleport. That is a very uh, hard, jet RTA possible strat. And it saves about um, the minimum last time I retirement. I think it was like 12 seconds. Uh, that's the minimum time you can save if you got it. Uh, I need to sneak some bit there just for stamina. Uh, but that's the minimum. You can actually save more time. That's like the time you save from the best bind you can get. And that doesn't happen very much. So usually you save more time than that. And if you don't get it, you're gonna lose a bunch, like 30 seconds maybe. HRT, exactly, yeah. <laughs> it's a human restricted TIS, or HRT for short. <laughs> it's absolutely intended, by the way. <laughs> so we're pretty much done here. I think there is like, uh, that was number, which one? Number five, I think. Now number one, should be the last one. And here, I also tried to grind for perfect trappers, but I just couldn't got it. And I was too tired because it was the end of the of the run. So I got one good one, the others couldn't got. It's also more difficult because you are going up a stair. And like it's harder to skip trappers that way because you're slower upstairs. But I actually got it, like before doing the TIS, I, I got a perfect portion of this part while I was practicing. Um, but then on the TIS, I couldn't got the perfect one. It's whatever. It's the human element of the run. It's still kind of sick. That's last. No magic message just to don't get any damage. I don't really care about my health, but I care about the knockback. I don't want knockback from the damage. Okay.
Okay. So that was like 50 seconds? That's a lot. <laughs> That's because uh, this is my sum of best, but I don't have a split on my sum of best where I got the best bind. <laughs> yeah. So now, Pius, I told ya, we're gonna. If I press R twice on that screen, I crash the game. Not free to leave this place we don't wanna see the inventory. We cannot see the inventory. You are to Otherwise, we crash. Kill the master of this house. And Do if you can't see the inventory, that means you, you cannot free. enchant your Gladius. So you either have to enchant it before the fight, or you have to do this. And this is like the other very interesting thing you can do with cutscene storage. You can storage, and then watch the epilogue. And the epilogue on the last fight, only on the last fight, triggers. And so it comes to pass. The credits. So that's it. That's the TAS. So that actually saves a lot of time. It's like a minute and a half from the super, well, not the super best pies. Uh, the the pies on my some of best. It's like for now. It could be another 15 seconds faster, I think, or 20 seconds faster. Your mother and father would have been proud of you. Thanks for the content. Just as I am. I'm sorry it had to be like this. Yeah, so I, I really had the feeling that this was totally soup hour, just out of its estimations. And goodbye, Alex. My my best estimations were about soup 57. Maybe I'm up to 56. Where so I'm very happy that this is to 55. New knowledge now seeped inside. And if you do Since this on console, happened, this should be even less. I realized that I was not um, I can assure you, you can win like a lot of time in console in because places, emulator's slower. Other universes fighting like we, we saw it on Pius. Pius was three seconds slower <laughs> than my sum of best. And like my best Pius on console. Spared. So what next? Well, I can I can just leave this the stream if I want. <laughs> no, I I might practice a little bit. I don't know. I'm not sure what to do. And so it comes to pass. Now, this is kind of a chore ancients, one. There is nothing. The mighty Chaturga has it can be possible to optimize a bit, a lot, Zelotov. a lot. Again, this is just a theory. Zelotov um, has overcome the power. A theory run. So it aims to be as good as humans can be. Of now, even All even once, with that, it has some mistakes that I didn't want to for the universe do. Made of many time streams, many Fine Roberto skipping knows the S. Yeah, I guess that, that would be a good one. Only Basically, remains. all the chapters that Slowly don't died. have items that you need. Mantarok. Um Keeper, Roberto, Elia, and Warden of Michael. Ancients, chaos, an entity trapped between the I think veils only those of reality ones. and the enchanted stakes yeah. that Yeah, because the, all the other ones you need a rune or something, like a power circle. Unable to rally its guardians. It could rely only on its subtle manipulations of the Roivas. So that, that would be like the enemies. next breakthrough, I guess. Knowing the nature of the ancients. It used its pawns to play them against each other, resulting in their And yeah, like uh, the mistakes on this were a couple seconds uh, from the human perspective. Let's say forever. this could probably Festering go like truth. 54, Plotting. 40, maybe I don't know. Now, if you go into TIS realm, uh, fully TIS realm, that's another story. This can go way below because the menu is insane. Is so fucking fast on TIS. 
compared to humans, it's just crazy. And also like better, better B prompts, like uh, pressing B as far as you can from loading zones and stuff like that. Um, better movement, but that's another story, of course. So yeah, I might do another TIS, like another HRT of the normal any percent. I mean, norm um, any percent no cuts in search. Though I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it because that one is way harder than this, uh, and it's longer. Like a lot of this run was just, you know, watching Dark Servants, and I can actually. Um, I can go turbo mode on the emulator, you know, I don't even need to watch the cutscene. But on, on no CS, uh, you can just scroll through the run 30 seconds on every chapter. There's more tricks and more stuff. But at least I know how to do some stuff, that's good. So yeah, well, uh, I, something very cool about this being five minutes under an hour, this means you can kind of get sub hour on this category, even if you fail a bunch of uh, cutscene storages. Like, let's see, if you fail like, you can even not go for a lot of stuff. You can not... You can go for just buying on Alex if you want. Um, that might be like 30 seconds or 20 seconds, depending on how good if you're, is your buying. You can even go no uh, bronze skip if you want, I guess. And then after that you have like 4 minutes. Then that means you can fail between four and eighth cutscene storages. That's kind of a lot. In the case of eighth, it's because if you fail it too early, um, you won't see the pre-rendered part and you can just see the cutscene immediately. But if you get it too late and you see the pre-rendered part, that sucks and you have to scroll up to see if you got it, and then scroll down if you didn't got it. This that that will be another kind of time save uh, if we find a way to to tell when we got cutscene storage without watching another cutscene, like doing something on the post menu, see if anything changes with the glitch without watching a cutscene. Because that's like 15 seconds lost every time you don't get it. Kind of sucks. So good. 54 55. Nice. And I think that's going to be. I'm tired. I actually started later than normal. So I I, I started tired this time. <laughs> so unless any um, anyone has anything to suggest or anything, I think I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna upload it to YouTube on HD probably tomorrow, I guess. Story time. Hmm. Uh, what do I have for you? I don't have a lot of stuff, really. Oh, there's something you haven't seen, Toast. I think, unless you 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 watch my my PV on CS, but I can show you. Um, just give me one second. Let me see. Okay, there it is. Nothing weird happening, don't worry. Uh, let's see... 
camera, there you go. Okay, so uh, what you see here is my setup for cutscene storage. <laughs> so this is my TV, it's a CRT, and uh, these things right here are like strings and they are attached to my TV. You can remove them, by the way, to play the game normally. It's a system that I made. And what this does is it shows you, it helps you with the frame of CS, 